Now, date night is a little difficult these days. Depending on where you live, going out for dinner might not even be an option. But that doesn't mean dinner date nights are dead. And we're going to prove it to you in our Daily Dish. Chef Matt Dean Pettit is here to help us make any night a date night. An MDP, this segment was inspired by you in the first place because you said that you, in the past, you don't work on Mondays, so you can spend it with your fiancé and you can have a date night, which is lovely. That's right, that's right, that's right. You know, pick one day of the week where you can try to lock in and have at least that one day of time. I, everyone's lives are busy, but, you know, that's uh, typically how we try to do it in my household. So, yeah, it's fun. You know, I think, and, you know, taking some inspiration from different places of travel that we've been together in the world and, you know, sharing is caring, right? Absolutely. And I think it would be fantastic to have you as a fiancé because the cooking, honey. All right. Let's get this started. And I love that this could be for a date night, but this can just be a, a great family meal any night. What are you making? Absolutely. So doing a, uh, a Thai pork curry dish mm -hmm. on a bed of rice noodles. You know, this is something that you could have on a date night or you could do on a Tuesday night, just a regular family night, whether it's two, four, whatever it is. So this is a dish that's also near and dear to our heart. Lovely. Okay, let's get started. So starting with center cut pork, uh, pork loin. So beautiful pork chops, center cut. Essentially, you're looking at about an inch thick. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do in this case is I want to actually cook them evenly. We're going to sort of stir fry it all together in this beautiful curry dish. I'm actually cubing them. So this is just like a bit of a rough chop. Again, you could keep this in whole piece, but I want to put this in. And why do we like to have our meat somewhat the same as our veg pieces, Trace? It's all going to cook evenly right across the board, which is great when you're That's doing a right. stir fry. So you don't right. have to worry about some pieces getting That's cooked and right. others not. Yeah. You know it over all these years, you're gonna, you are the best sous chef probably in Canada. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Here's something that I recommend as well too. I would normally make this and I'm gonna set this in the fridge either overnight or at least a few hours ahead. Uh, brown sugar, so you're getting a little of that saltiness, that sweetness. I've got some ginger going in there as well. And I just wanna cut up a nice little lime here. And we've got fresh lime that we're just gonna squeeze in. Normally, Tracy, if we're together, you know, you're my roller, you're my lime, you're my, you're my citrus squeeze where you roll it out for me. I like that. I've always wanted to be somebody's workout. citrus squeeze. It's a good title. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's a great title, and thank mm -hmm. you for being each other. We're citrus squeezes. But then we're getting the pipes going here. That's how we get our workout. That's right. So here we go. Right? So we're just squeezing. And again, you want to get all of that beautiful citrus coming out. I'm just going to let that sit here for a second. So next up, rice noodles. Have you worked with rice noodles before, Trace? Yeah, not often, um, but I want to know how easy this is because they should be very easy. Like, can you just, uh, you know, put them in water and, and, and have them sort of cook that way? Or Absolutely. how do you do it? Absolutely. Yeah, so you can drop these into just a bowl of water, um, almost like you're making instant noodles. Cover it, let it sort of you know, sort of come together and soften. Those usually can take about two to three minutes that way. Alternatively, I like to put them just into boiling water. We're just gonna bring that all together and that's just sort of fold down. When you're doing it this way, sort of the old school, just in a pot, boiling water, seasoned uh, with some salt, that's gonna be a couple minutes as well. I like to drain it off. And then I'm gonna put some uh, sesame oil. In this recipe, I always like to put, if I have rice noodles or any kind of noodle, either canola oil or sesame oil, in this case, just so they don't stick together. So Trace, let's get moving forward here. And if we can, we got our, we have our big skillet here. We have a little bit of canola oil. So we've got some garlic, fresh garlic. I do two tablespoons. You can do as much as you like. I have some baby corn. I have some carrots, a little veg medley that's going on in here. We're just gonna start bringing this all together. So curry powder, sriracha powder, fish stock in. So we've brought that all together. Let that cook down for about three to five minutes. This is when you would add your pork. So your pork's been gonna be going in. Coconut milk. And I wanna put that in so it's just gonna start reducing. And a little bit of vegetable stock. Now it's time to plate, right, Trace? Yeah, you let's said it. Do let's it. have some fun with plating before we go here. So I'm using a beautiful, you know, family style. This is gonna be date night, so we're gonna start in one big bowl. And I've taken my rice noodles that have some beautiful sesame oil on it. I love the smell of sesame oil. Me too. Nutty, fragrant, 
you know, we can keep some of these back for later. Make a little, a little lunch tomorrow. And I've got my curry here. And you can just see, I'm going to hold that to camera here. You can just see how that's reduced down, that pork, all those beautiful flavors. You're getting that aromatics. And I am just going to spoon this right over the top. I want to show you because also, too, it's about how we garnish. It's about how we finish off everything. Check this. Look at this. This is like a little bird's nest of heaven. Here we go. And then one more little piece. Make it nice and saucy. Crushed peanuts. If you don't want to use peanuts in the house, you can certainly use, um, you know, walnuts or any kind of sort of pecans. I'm going to do a little Thai chili because I love it. Let's get spicy, Trace. This is Thailand. We're trying to emulate our travels. Crispy noodles, crispy rice noodles that I've done a little on the other side just to give some action, give a little bit of height. And, of course, some basil. You could use cilantro. Pick it, set it, go. That's date night, Trace, right there. That is so gorgeous. You guys can eat that like Lady in the Tramp.